Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Quick Click Collection to reduce overexposure and haze. We're going to go ahead and start with this photo of Andy Tate's from Cray Photography. And you can see it is a little bit hazy and a little bit overexposed, so we're going to correct that. We're going to go ahead and start by opening up Building Blocks. And we're going to go down in the Building Blocks section to decrease exposure and we're going to remove some exposure. I'm going to go ahead and click on one stop and that is looking good. So we're going to move on to the next section now which is the color presets and we're going to find a preset that we like. Something like tic-tac-toe looks very nice so we'll go with that. The next section we're going to go ahead into are the finishing enhancers. In the finishing enhancers, the ones I want to look for here, we could start with a little bit of booster shot, which is going to give it some contrast. And we can also go to the part where it says reduce haze, the haze lifter presets. And we can try light, medium, or if we want to reduce a lot of haze, even the strong. For this one, I'm going to say let's go with the medium. And then we could go in here, and if we wanted to sharpen up our picture, we could click the sharp attack. There's sharp attack medium and possibly even add some burnt edges. And there's our completed file. In a couple quick clicks, we reduced the haze and fixed our overexposure. You may notice the shirts have slight blowouts on them, and we can actually try and fix that by using Blowout Buster. There's Blowout Buster Strong. At the very edge, it doesn't correct it, but everywhere else it does. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, this was Jody from mcpactions.com. Thank you.